like to call the meeting to order. Uh, this is a public hearing related to two requests from the administration. Uh, Mrs. Hines, you can call her off. Mrs. Brazel, here. Mr. Beavers is absent. Mr. Green, here. Mr. Brown is absent. Mrs. Evaldi, here. Mr. Rungi is absent. And Mr. Bain, here. We do have a quorum and we're at a duly called meeting. So moving on. Are there any additions or corrections to the agenda, Dr. Evers? No. Okay. With that, I'd like to recognize the audience on the matters in front of us tonight during the public hearing. Uh, we have the approval of waiving administrative cost cap limitation and e-learning plan for 2022-2023. Are there any public or employee concerns related to these matters at this time? Hearing none, moving on. Dr. Evers, would you introduce the first one, the approval of waiving the administrative cost cap limitation? Right. The first item is necessary because the administrative cost cap was of 5% has been exceeded for this year. Um, so uh, following uh, state statute, any time that we exceed 5% of administrative cost, associated executive administrative cost, that, that um, it becomes a public hearing. So. It's related to um, the superintendent contract. It's a five-year new contract, and the salary and benefits related to it, okay. as well as the the increase projected increase in health insurance okay. this year, which may depend on where we land at the end of October with the trust. Um, may not be as large of an increase, but I projected originally 23 percent. So that's part of why that that 14 percent is is such a large number. Any questions from the board to the administration regarding the matter? If not, we'll move on to the second item, the e-learning plan for 2022-2023. Dr. Evers? Um, the uh, e-learning plan is not anything unfamiliar to our teachers. We've been using um, remote learning days. This year we'll be using e-learning days for any stoppages of instruction related to inclement weather or let's say a sewer, hopefully none of these things happen, sewer main, bre sewer main breakage, um, heating goes out, water issues, those type of things. Um, hopefully not a pandem pandemic again, but um, e-learning, the e-learning plan will be utilized. We will be using um, an asynchronous platform for the first three days, and if we end, end up extending beyond three days, we'll do a synchronous plan for instruction. Um, our teachers have been really, really great about providing um, learning-rich content for the last two years when we've been doing remote learning days, and the e-learning days I don't expect to be much different. They um, are great about providing um, packets at the younger grade levels, the K-5, to as well as posting the instruction on Google Classroom or Classroom Dojo. Those expectations won't change every day that we're out for um, what was used to be a, a previously a snow day. They'll have every teacher will have the learning plan um, and lesson pl posted by 9 a.m. Okay. Any questions from the board? So, if it's greater than five days, is that does that constitute board approval, or is that something that no, you need to hear? No, the synchronous days. When, um, we will have teachers who will get on for a portion of each instructional day so that the children can check in on days four, four and beyond so that they can have touch bases. So on Classroom um, Dojo or on Google Classroom, they'll say, Miss um, Brown's uh, science class will be checking in from 9 to 9.50, you know, then it might be... Uh, uh, the English class will check in, Miss Mahoney's math class will check in from, you know, 11 to 11.50 and, and have opportunities for check-in and touch base on instruction if we go beyond day four. So just just um, working through, most of our students are very, very familiar with getting on to the electronic platforms. It, this is not going to be much different except for on days four and beyond, we'll have opportunities for those children to synchronously check in for five hours during the day if they need to have touch base with science, math, English language arts, reading. Right. Social studies. Science, social studies, math, English language arts. So. I would assume it would help us also keep track on the school calendar as far as, you know, spring breaks a certain time, school's going to be done at the end of the year. Well, and you can take, you can really, really bank on that we're not going to be using traditional school days so those built-in five days will be removed and so that's why 
typically we wouldn't be approving graduation dates, but you'll see that today we're approving graduation dates because we're pretty comfortable that we as a school district know how to use remote and e-learning days. And so um, we'll, we'll set our, our graduation date for this year today at the October board meeting because we're, we're comfortable knowing that we can do short or, or long-term pauses to instructions that our teachers and our teaching assistants and our secretaries all know how to operate um, in a remote format. So. Any further questions? With none, I entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. And a second, please. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say nay. Motion carried.